if there is more than two charges what will happen this is what we can see here force between multiple charges if there is a three charge q1 q2 q3 so what will happen according to this principle according to like based on uh, superposition principle okay i hope you people know superposition it's just like adding up everything right superposition so the force of any charge due to number of other charges is a vector sum of all other forces on that charge due to other charges okay so like if there is a charge q2 okay so because of q1 definitely there will be some force right so i can write f to one right because of q3 also there will be some force in a q2 right so i can write f3 one right sorry f uh, f2 three right force on second one due to third one okay so here i can write f2 because of one and because of this f3 because of f2 because of third one. okay so the total charge on q2 can be written as the force of f21 the force of f 2 3 because of 3 because of 1 so totally we are calculating for each one and we are adding it okay so superposition is the same thing right like vector sum okay the same thing we are using in the force between multiple charges by using this only we are calculating forces between multiple charges so this is the equation like it is for more than one charges okay we will do for first charge second charge up to n charge then we will find the sum right so this is the general case again i am telling so if there is only two charges we will get only one force or two force if there is more than two more than three charges mean if there is q1 q2 q3 q4 okay if we want to calculate what is the force here what is f4 okay so because of each charges definitely there will be the force in it okay so because of q1 there will be some force on q4 so i can write f41 plus because of this like f43 and because of 2 so if it is f42 everything will give us the value of f4 right so this is how we will get the values of the multiple charges okay here i will show you the question how we will get the questions okay so yes this question three charges minus q uh, plus q and 2q are placed at the corners of equilateral triangle what is the net electrostatic force on a charge 2q so when we have three charges okay so it is q minus q and then 2q okay so they are asking are placed at the corners of the equilateral triangle which means that everything is same right all the sides are equal so what is the net electrostatic force charge on q okay the same thing we have to do it okay so like how because of this what will happen okay so f is equal to here i'm just writing k okay so q1 this is q1 this is q2 now right so what will happen q1 is q q2 is 2q divided by the distance is same so i'm just writing a okay so this is a square okay so what will happen this is the this is for first one now i'm writing for this side so i can write f k minus q times 2q divided by a square right so we have to add this for calculating the charge on uh, force on 2q so what will happen it will be kq 2q over a square plus this is minus of right because the charge is minus q 2q divided by a square so it will get cancelled right so the answer will be Zero. Okay, this is how you have to 
do this kind of question.